Hey there! You're watching Wildflower Video Tips. I'm Lindsay Mo. Today I'm going to show you how to set a default transition length in Adobe Premiere Pro. Setting a default transition length in Adobe Premiere Pro is a great idea when you're working with food videos because you're probably using the same length over and over. It's super easy to do. Let's dive in. Today we're going to set a default transition length in Adobe Premiere Pro, and this will apply across all of our projects, so keep that in mind. But it's easy to change in the future if a different project has a different need. You can see I have two clips here, and we'll pretend that I want to add a cross-dissolve transition between those two. If I have a lot of clips that I'm adding transitions to, setting a default transition will help save time because you won't need to jump in and adjust them every single time to match your needs. So to set our default transition length, I'm going to go up to Premiere Pro, Preferences, Timeline. And up here you can see I have the default transition length set to 8 frames. Let's change that to 4. I will frequently use 4, 8, or 12 as my usual transition lengths. I don't know why, they just seem to work best for me for recipe videos. And we'll click OK. And then there are two ways we can add our transition to our timeline. If we go over here to the project, if I press Shift 7, it will jump me to effects. And you can see this little blue box around cross dissolve. That means cross dissolve is set as our default transition. If we wanted it to be, let's say, a dip to black, I could press Control, click, and set that as my default transition. But I do want it to be a cross dissolve. So I can either drag that over, and you can see that it's set at four frames, which is what we chose. You can also grab it with these little handles here and adjust it, or Control click to set a different length if you need to. The other option is to, we'll delete that, let's say you click right in between them and press Command D and it will apply the default transition, the cross dissolve at four frames. This is really easy to do and I think it'll save you a ton of time when editing your recipe videos. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe so you never miss another video. I will be back next week with another tip. Until then, see you next time.